Welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome here to the review of Barcelona against Leganes live from the Camp Nou this evening. And of course, we had the chance going into this game to equal the all-time Spanish record for unbeaten games in a league season. Currently, it was held by Real Sociedad, 38 games unbeaten in the Spanish top flight. And now, Barcelona have officially equaled that record the majority of the time this season under Ernesto Valverde, also some games at last season under Luis Enrique. We have done it, and still, in the league, our unbeaten record continues. And once again, you'd have to say, it was thanks to that man, of course it was, Lionel Messi. So welcome here to the Lionel Messi show. And that's exactly what we are going to be discussing in this review. Messi, all three of his goals tonight, a fantastic hat-trick, a brilliant performance. Overall, we got the job done. Again, I wouldn't say it was sensational Barcelona, but we did exactly what was necessary. We're going to start with the team. We're going to work our way onto what happened in the game and the conclusions, really, that we can draw following this 3-1 victory tonight over Leganes to see us go clear once again at the top of the league, take one step closer to that title, and, of course, the Madrid derby tomorrow coming up where Atletico Madrid or Real Madrid or both could drop points. So going into this one, obviously there was a lot of talk about rotations. Would Valverde rotate his side? What exactly would he do with the team? And I personally wondered this one, thought maybe he should rotate. I thought maybe a few players in there, maybe Messi, maybe Suarez, maybe Pique, could have been left out of this one just to recover a little bit because we've got some really big games coming up. You've got the Champions League quarterfinals, of course, against Roma, the second leg coming on Tuesday. Then at the end of the month, you've got the semi-finals. So it really is a packed schedule right now for Barcelona. But Valverde to be honest, went very, very strong right from the beginning. We saw a few players rested, but we certainly saw an experiment with Sergio Roberto starting in the left-back position. Then there was Semedo in right-back. I was really glad that he continued in the team today, and I have to say once again, he did impress. Vermaelen came in for Samuel and Titi, and Gerard Pique still maintained his place in the starting lineup. Then there was a four in midfield. It was Coutinho from the left. Obviously, he didn't play any Champions League games, so he was fresh for this one and provided a very important assist for Lionel Messi. Ivan Rakitic did well in the Busquets role, dropping in, and so, to be honest, did Andre Gomez in a more familiar role, central, able to receive the ball, able to give it, and he didn't do too badly tonight at all, did Andre Gomez. Then from the right, Ousman Dembele brought in, didn't play at all against Roma. I thought he did well, considering, obviously, he's been left out now for a game. Coming back into it isn't always easy, but I think he did well in spells, and certainly was a big hand in Lionel Messi's third goal. Then up front, Luis Suarez and Lionel Messi, both of them playing the full 90 minutes, and Suarez, I'm going to come on to his performance in a minute, once again, he suffered a bit of misfortune in this game in front of goal, and Lionel Messi, what can you say, clear now at the top of the La Liga standings in terms of top goal scorer, he's top of the assist chart as well, and once again tonight, winning the game for us, three goals for the magical man, and where to start, but that free kick, and it was an absolutely wonderful, wonderful free kick, and the thing is right now, with Lionel Messi, and the way that he's playing, and the way that he's taken these free kicks, a lot of people are sort of making jokes like, you know, when Messi gets a free kick, it's like a penalty to him. But all jokes aside now, when Lionel Messi is standing over a free kick and it's 25, 20 yards from goal, you're thinking, we have got a realistic chance here of scoring from this. A lot of teams think it maybe when they get a corner, they think we're great from set pieces. When you've got Messi standing over a free kick, you're generally thinking, this is going to go in. Because you've generally got that right now, that feeling that Messi believes that he can score. And if you actually look on the Barcelona Twitter account, before the game, Lionel Messi, when they were warming up, he put a free kick in near exactly the same place as he did when he scored tonight. And it was an absolutely outstanding free kick. Nothing the goalkeeper can do. It was one of those that went almost into the inside side netting of the goal. It was that good. Whip with pace, whip with power, and a fantastic opening goal coming just before the half hour mark. We didn't really start the game entirely, you know, going for it. It was quite a slow burn to start with. We eased our way into the game but we were certainly on top in that first half. A lot of possession, a lot of domination really in the Leganes half. They struggled to get out, they struggled to keep the ball and we dominated possession right throughout the game but especially to be honest in that first half and it wasn't long then before Lionel Messi made it too. You could see in that first half he was fresh, he was going for it, it was really refreshing to see Lionel Messi playing in that way and it was Felipe Coutinho that created the goal on the 32nd minute mark. He received the ball in a bit of a tight space 
space. And he then turns and he does really, really well because he opens the space up for himself. He can see the run of Messi. He picks him out really well. He anticipates where Lionel Messi is going to make the run. It's a good run from Messi. And Messi doesn't really hang about with the finish. He could put it across the goalkeeper, but he keeps it very simple. He goes to the near post. Really good finish. 2-0 Barcelona. And at that stage, you're thinking, this is going to be pretty comfortable for us now. We're going to go on and win this game. How many is it going to be? And I have to say in the second half, maybe it was a case of these players relaxing because like I say, a lot of these guys I would feel right now are getting a bit tired, a bit fatigued. It's been a really long season. A lot of these guys like Rattis, like Piquet, like Suarez, they play nearly every single game. So they're probably getting a bit tired in themselves. And I just think it was a case of in the second half, they took their foot off the gas. They had a bit of a relaxation time and you can't really afford to do that in games. And I just think maybe Valverde could have brought somebody on, maybe somebody like Denny Suarez at 2-0 just to refresh the team a little bit, just to give us a bit of a kickstart. The fans tried to start chanting, they tried to sort of kick us into life, but it didn't really work out. And we were at the sort of 70 minute mark nearly, and there was no change whatsoever from Valverde. And these players just went to sleep a little bit. Leganes got themselves back in the game. It was a bit of a scrappy goal. It was a good finish in the end from Alzar. And suddenly, Leganes were back in the game. And I wouldn't say it really told the full story. I don't think Leganes earned that goal particularly. I think they had a good spell in that second half, a good 10 minutes really, that they sort of got into our half. They kept the ball there. But overall in this game, we were completely dominant. It was a home game against Leganes. Like I said before the game, they haven't won in 11 away games in La Liga this season. They last 11, not won one of them. So they were never really going to be too much of a threat. But in that second half, we just switched off there 2-1. But when that goal went in, we sort of rejuvenated a little bit. Valverde then made some, some subs. He brought on Albury, brought on Andres Iniesta. So two first team players really that were back introduced. I didn't really understand tonight the Roberto Gamble. I thought playing him at left back, I think he did very well there. I think to be honest, massive credit to him because he seems like the kind of player right now who can play absolutely anywhere and that's really a credit to him. It's a credit to all of his attributes, the way that he's able to apply himself in any position that the coach needs him to. But I just think tonight, if you didn't want to play Alba, obviously Digne is injured. We could have quite easily maybe, you know, promoted somebody from Barcelona B, maybe Cucurella, maybe Miranda, because at least they're natural left back. Sergio Roberto tonight was thrown in there and to be fair to him, like I say, he did very well. But I just think it was a bit of a gamble from Valverde, maybe one where he could have played a B player who was an established left back in its own right. But it pretty much worked out. Alba and Iesta came on. We got back into the flow of things then. And of course, Lionel Messi always looking to complete that hat trick. You could see that he wanted it. He was still alive, even in the closing minutes of the game. And this is really nice play for me from Usman Dembele. It was down the right hand side. He had a few moments where he had a few good dribbles. He was getting beyond his man quite a few times. And it was just the final ball, which it wasn't bad. You know, there was a few moments in there where he found his man, but it didn't quite go in. There was a few nearly moments in attack, but this one was absolutely right. He puts the right weight on the pass. He finds Lionel Messi in the area. It sort of bounces up at him, but he controls it, and then he just lifts it on the goalkeeper. A really, really calm finish from Lionel Messi. A very nice assist for his man Dembele. That's Coutinho and Dembele, both with assist in this game. And like I say, Lionel Messi now with a hat-trick in this game, which takes him to 29 La Liga goals, seven ahead of Cristiano Ronaldo, who is in second. But I just want to talk about Luis Suarez right now, simply because this is a kind of game which reminded me very, very much so of the Suarez that we were seeing earlier on in the season. Now, I don't mean that Suarez is in really, really bad form. I don't think it's as deep as that. But I do think right now he maybe needs a little bit of time at the team, a little bit of time to refresh himself. And I think that's why we would arrested him in this game. Maybe Valverde is going to look to rest him against Roma and bin Paco Alcacer in, but I can't really see him doing that. But I just think Suarez right now looks like somebody who's very tired. You saw him at the end of the game. He had his hands on his knees. He was puffing. You know, he was feeling it. He really was at the end of the game. The same sort of thing happened against Roma. And he had a few chances tonight in front of goal where he was just panicking a little bit. And he just looked like a yard off the pace, really. Like he was nearly there, but it wasn't quite happening for Suarez. And I just think if we're going to be challenging in the Champions League, if we're going to wrap up the league, we're going to need to see Suarez at his absolute best, as we've seen him earlier on in this season, in the months, just a few, you know, weeks ago, really, where he was at his absolute best, scoring so many goals, prolific in front of goal, alongside Lionel Messi. But just in the last week or so, the goals have dried up a little bit in the Champions League against Roma. He got his goal, but he still missed a few chances. I just think there was a time in the season where he completely skipped international break just to get his best form back, just to regain that edge again. And I just think we're nearing that period now. He's plus 30 years old. He's no youngster. He does need a bit of time out the team, a bit of rest, just to get his best level back and get that real sharpness back that really brings the best out of Suarez. But overall, 
overall tonight, a solid display, three points, a hat-trick for Lionel Messi. There's not much there that you don't want to like. We're clear at the top, we're getting closer to La Liga, and of course, like I said at the start, we have equaled that Spanish all-time record for unbeaten games in La Liga. So, all good things tonight, guys. A few players I feel need to be rested in the near future. Hopefully, we can see that happening. But overall, not bad tonight. We have got the win. Please do leave your thoughts in the comments down below, and I will be seeing you very, very soon indeed. Thanks as always for watching, but until next time, as always, Vesca El Barça.